When we say the word giraffe, you automatically think of an animal with a tall, long neck. And here at Dudley Zoo, we'll be meeting some giraffes. A fun fact about a giraffe is that they also have, like a human, seven bones in their neck, only that theirs are much bigger. Now, before we meet our giraffe, let's prepare its lunch. So I'm really excited because now I'm actually going to be able to feed a giraffe. So here we have Jay again. Hello. Hi Jay. So shall we prepare the giraffe's lunch? Yeah, let's go. Let's pop in. So Jay, we're here. Is this the kitchen, I'm guessing? Yes, this is, the, this is what we call the type of kitchen, but this is where I prepare a lot of the foods for all the animals on my department, such as the giraffe. And you can see on this board, we've got diets for everything that's on my section, which includes, as you can see, yeah. the giraffe. Giraffe, yes. Yeah, we've got roughly about nine different keepers on this section, so we all follow these boards to make sure that all our animals are given a healthy, balanced diet, mm -hmm. and the right amount of food is given every single day. Right. Because if everyone just threw in what they wanted to, it'd be unbalanced, it'd be unhealthy, unhealthy. and they wouldn't get the right amount of food. So just like the, the human diet. Exactly have to make the sure same. Be what yeah. Eating. So we follow this, and we can't go wrong Brilliant. in theory. Okay. So um, what does the giraffe eat? Well, you can see on this board we've got a whole list of things such as apples, carrots, bananas, cabbage. But the most important foods are actually the foods that we call concentrated foods. Right. Um, and those are foods such as uh, like pellets and grains um, and bran. And this is actually a prepared giraffe diet right in front of us here. Yeah, you see all that's mixed together with the pellets, the fruit and vegetables. You can see this has got banana in this one. Yes. Um, so all that combined is a complete balanced diet for our giraffe. Um, and you can see it's quite a large amount of food. But this one bucket, they have four of those every single day. Four of those yes, every day. and I don't know if you want to have a feel of that. Feel how heavy that is. Oh God, that, yes, that is. It's, very, it's heavy. very heavy, very isn't heavy, it? Yeah. So it actually equates to a lot of food, and that's just part of the diet mm -hmm. because the giraffes also get fresh browse, which is parts of trees, mm -hmm. and they also get hay and haylage and something called lucerne. And lucerne is very similar to a hay; it just contains a lot more nutrients for them. It's better for them, mm -hmm. um, and the protein content is a bit more higher. So it actually gives them everything they need again to stay healthy. Brilliant. So we've got the food. We've got the food. Should we go Should and we feed go some giraffes? Yes, let's go feed some giraffes. You're back up. They won't hurt you. Okay. All they're interested in is the food. Okay. All right. Mm -hmm. So here we are about to feed the giraffes. Yes. We've got it's... four giraffes in total. Mm -hmm. um, the little one just down here, his name's Keto. He's right. going to be two in February. Mm -hmm. Josie's six. Mia at the back is 11. And then a big boy inside, which I'll show you in a moment. Mm -hmm. His name's Cooper and he's 14. And you see they're going to get straight in there. Oh, they're enjoying that. They do, yeah. I mean, you can see this this one in particular, she's a gannet. She right. eats very fast, she doesn't hang around. Whereas this one, he's a bit more particular about the way he eats. Now, I don't know if you notice, as soon as I move my hand, she threw her head away. Yeah. They don't like being touched. Okay. And everyone expects them to be very similar to horses where you can pat them and they enjoy it. It's a good job you've told me that because I was just about to pat yeah, them. Yeah, they do not like it. Uh, right. The one inside, he's a bit more better with it because he was hand-reared, right. whereas these guys do not like it at all. Now, giraffes are very, very dangerous animals, and a lot of people don't realise it. And we're this close to them and right we're now. we're this close to them. We're safe where we are now, but if we were down on their level with them, yeah. potentially we could get kicked by them, and you're going to be in serious trouble if you get kicked by a giraffe. It's quite deceptive being this high up, isn't it? You yeah. don't, you know, that. But if we're on the ground level there, you don't realise how big they actually are till you're down there. Right. Um, and is this enough for all three of them, or was this, this just is a like, snack? This is like your meat in a pack of crisps. Okay. Um, the large volumes of food, and in the wild, they're actually eating for roughly about 15, 16 hours a day. Wow. It's a long time they spend eating. So only a small amount of that time is actually spent sleeping. Okay. So um, this one over here, what's he eating? She is eating part of a willow tree, believe it or not. Every single day the giraffe gets um, brows, parts of trees. Right. Um, because obviously that's the most natural thing they'd eat in the wild. In the wild they eat a tree called the acacia tree and it's got great, great big massive spikes on it. But here at the zoo we've got roughly about 10 to 15 different varieties we can feed to them. And we feed that up until the leaves drop off the trees. Mm -hmm. um, so for most of the year, to be honest. Brilliant. This is almost finished, but it looks like they're still hungry. Yeah, they'll keep on going. They'll make sure they get every last uh, bit of that. 
Brilliant. Um, and this is, to be honest, this is probably their favourite food, all the fruits and vegetables and all the concentrated foods. Mm -hmm. They absolutely love this. Mm -hmm. And this is what makes up a large part of their diet. Brilliant. I can't believe I'm this close and actually feeding a giraffe. Yeah, not many people get this opportunity. I was going to say, I feel very close. lucky, very privileged. Yeah, I'm it's very lucky. It's all gone, lucky. mate. It's all finished. As oh. you can see, I don't know if you saw the way she was picking up the food there. The yeah. tongue is very uh, long, it's sticky. Mm -hmm. The average length is roughly about 35 to 50 centimetres long. That's a long tongue. It's very long and it starts the way all the way back in the jaw there. It needs to be that long for a reason. Obviously, when they're picking leaves off trees, what they'll do is they'll use that tongue, manipulate the leaves, grab onto them and pull, pull down them. and strip them off the branches. And I don't know if you've noticed what colour the draft tongue is. Can you see it's like a very dark, dark complexion? Yeah, dark grey. It's that colour to actually prevent it from getting sunburned. Wow. If you live in Africa and you're eating for 15, 16 hours a day and you're sticking your tongue out for that period of time in the African sun, you're more than likely going to get it burned. That's a very interesting fact. It I is, isn't it? I did not know that. But if you tend to have a darker complexion, you tend not to burn so easy. And that's one of the reasons their colour, the tongue is that colour. Wow, brilliant. Thank you so much. I really enjoyed feeding those giraffes. Yeah. They've realised there's no food left and they've all gone and away. And they've gone. <laughs> Hi, Jay, then. So who do we have here? This is the beautiful Kubwa. So this is our boy giraffe. And as you can see, compared to the girls, he is massive. Yes, very tall. Um, it's one of the main reasons, the differences you can tell between a boy and a girl, actually, is size. Their heads are bigger. They're see. also a lot taller as well. Mm -hmm. Male giraffes average about 17, 18 foot, whereas girls are about 15, 16 foot in height. Wow. So it's only when you get this close, you can see how much bigger he is. He's Absolutely and massive. you've seen his massive horns as well. Mm. The technical term for these are called ossicones, um, and they actually are part of the skull, so they are made out of bone. Right. And an interesting fact for you is giraffes are the only animals in the world to be born with horns. Wow. But when they're first born, they're flat against the back of the head, right. so they can travel down the birth canal. And then within an era of birth, they start to fuse the skull, and then they start the long process of actually becoming part of the skull. Wow. Now, giraffe heads are very important, and they look like that for a reason, because they use them for fighting. Mm -hmm. The bigger the head, the more fights you're going to win. And as you can see, he's got quite a big He's got a, a very big, big. I can imagine he can win lots of fights. He could win lots of fights, but we don't keep him with the boys, because right. um, otherwise they would fight. Is that why he's kept separate now? He's kept separate because, um, obviously, he's a boy and the ones outside are girls. Mm -hmm. And they're on a contraception that's affecting their hormones at the moment. So if we were to put him out there, he could perceive them as being boys because they're on this hormone. Um, so we're keeping separate at the moment, but that is his son in the paddock. Right. So the plan is to, sooner rather than later, is get them all back together again when we can. Brilliant. And with them having such long necks, how many bones do they actually have in a neck? The same as nearly all mammals, including us, and it's seven. Is it really? Yeah. And we, it's a question we get asked all the time, because all the children's guess thousands. I was going to say, I would think the same, yes. Yeah. So just so seven, seven, only theirs are a hell of a lot bigger than ours. I can imagine. Um, and you can see it's quite a long neck. It actually is roughly about two metres long. I think he wants more food. He does want some more food. And we've this got a little bit, yeah, this is famous as well. So if you want to feed him that, that's part of a willow tree, that is. Right. And he's going to grab he's it. You'll see his tongue work now. So if you hold on tight, he's going to use that tongue, grab. He's got lots of power. And can you see how he's trying to strip the leaves? Yeah. So it's almost, his tongue is almost prehensile. He's using it almost like we would a hand to grab and pull. And you can feel the strength in that. Very powerful. He's very strong. Can giraffes run very fast or...? They can indeed. Roughly speeds of 30 to 35 miles an hour. Um, but when they run, it doesn't look like they're covering much ground. It doesn't look like they run fast. And that's because when they run, their head almost stays motionless. Right. Um, so it looks like they're floating across the surface of the African savanna. But they can really shift when they want to. You can see they're big, powerful animals. I can imagine. Look how weight wise, males can get upwards and over a ton in weight. So it's a lot of weight. And just them running around, they're quite dangerous animals. And it's one of the reasons why here at the zoo, we're not allowed to work in and around them. Mm -hmm. They're just too dangerous. too dangerous. Very similar to with horses, they can kick. And a giraffe kick can actually kill a lion in the wild. So imagine what it could do to me as a zookeeper. So for that reason, if we wanted to clean him out, you can see there's a little bit of mess in there. Mm -hmm. We put him outside. And then clean around. Clean him, and then he can come back inside. Wow, that's amazing. So Jay, thank you so much for showing us around the giraffes and letting me actually feed the giraffes as well. We've learned so much and lots of interesting facts. Thank you.